Uh, let me um, uh, go down to Washington right now. We got uh, Andrew Whitman, our senior political correspondent. He's on the ground right now, and uh, he's joined by uh, one of our region's own, um, a former colleague of the Congresswoman's, Congressman Rush Holt from New Jersey. Isn't that right, Andrew? That's correct, Rich. And Congressman, I just first of all wanted to get your reaction to the address tonight. The president hit a number of really important points. You know, the most important, actually, was where he ended, saying that Americans aren't Republicans, Democrats, independents, different nationalities. They are citizens. Citizens first. And if they approach it with that attitude, there will be a lot better give and take. Um, he did a lot of specific things, talking about uh, early childhood education for, you know, uh, pre-K for everyone in America. He talked about a kind of optimistic America getting back to the kind of America where we don't talk about what we can't do, but we talk about what we can do, educating all Americans, building things, investing in infrastructure, investing in research. All of those are good. I want to shift gears because you brought your guest to the State of the Union with you tonight. Can you introduce her to us and first just give us her name? Yeah, I'm here with Sarah Cadogan uh, from Plainfield, New Jersey. And a number of us uh, wanted to draw attention to something that we were sure the president was going to talk about, and that is the need to deal with gun violence in America. Uh, Sarah Cadogan lost her son two years ago, turned it into a very positive thing by forming an organization called uh, Young Men of Resilience. Um, and I wanted her to hear the president and to be there to, uh, to, to, to push us on to push us legislators to get to a vote, as you heard this chant, vote, vote, vote on gun safety legislation. Sarah, what did you think of the president's comments on gun control, on gun safety? I thought they were outstanding. I am really excited to be a part of um, history, this moment where not just the country, but our president, everyone sees that there is a need for gun control legislation, and it seems as though everyone wants to work to bring that about. There were calls for a vote. We need a vote. We should have a vote. Did you feel like some of that was maybe for uh, on your behalf? Well, yeah, because there, like uh, Congressman stated, there are a lot of us here on this evening who've lost children to gun violence. And, uh, yeah, I did. When he was saying, because before that he was saying, you know, Hadia Pendleton deserves a vote. And I was saying, and Spencer Cadogan deserves a vote. So, yes, I did. And, and finally, if some legislation is able to get passed, I mean, what's that? What's the impact on you going to be? I'm, I'm just going to feel it'll make me really happy because any life lost by gun violence is one life too many. Just knowing that there's a mother, not, another mother won't have to suffer through this. And I'm just so glad that we as a nation are saying this is what we're going to do at this point. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank Congressman, you. thank you as well. Thank you. We're Good going to send it back you. to you in the studio, Rich, and we'll be back from Washington in just a little bit. You got it. Thank you, Andrew.